this is how to update your Benbox uh, software that, that could, because you don't really want it to use Gerbil so you might be able to use something like I use which when I get around to it will be um, Lightburn now what you have to do is you've got Benbox there are other ways to do it this is the way I went about it uh, open up Benbox which is what you can download from the internet or you might have got from your um, provider of the equipment you got right the first thing you've got to do will be connect it all up you don't have to your laser cutter say you don't have to connect up to power just connect it up to the PC so you'll have your PC USB going into the little I think it's a micro USB on the board but it could be anything I guess okay once you do that your computer will sort of detect it and know there's something on the end you will then click the lightning button and up here you'll be able to select your um, com port I think it will be or maybe it will just say the actual item but I believe it will say your com port it's so long since I did it I've sort of forgotten it and I only did it once or twice and then I didn't use it anymore so you'll select the com port that it's on uh, once you've done that see you can then select nano I think that's what I did and then you would then choose your firmware so you would uh, download your gerbil from uh, the internet now I believe you'll most probably get it on uh, github so, so just um, search for download grbl that will take you to github you can then um, download the file I'm not sure what the file will be but once you've downloaded it like I've done here it says it's a hex file that's correct right from what I remember so you'll obviously select that open that right you can just about see it says the file there and then you can click tick now what that will then do is you'll see your nano board on your laser start flashing as it downloads it um, once it's finished you are now using Gerbil on that board there's different versions I think it's up to about 1.1 so you need to sort of check that that is suitable for the software you're using um, you know it's up to about 1.1 but some might not accept it so you might have to go for 1.1 a I think 1.1 f or something I can't remember um, and then just do that so basically select your com port select this as nano I think that way it knows what it's writing to uh, so it understands what it's got to send and then you choose your firmware like I say with Benbox you would normally have a Benbox sort of hex file but we don't want to use that um, so we want to use the Gerbil file so find your Gerbil file on the internet download it and then choose that as your firmware and just tick that you should see your board flicker as it uploads once it's finished you're basically on um, Gerbil so Benbox won't be no use because as you're sending commands to it the Gerbil file won't understand the format it's in that's what I, I guess okay so that's it um, I say I use uh, Lightburn it's quite cheap I think it was about £30 and it seems to do a lot of um, things um, so I would go with that uh, there are I think there's a couple people sort of recommend but obviously and there's good support on Lightburn whenever you ask a question on the Facebook group um, they answer quite quickly or he answers quite quickly uh, and you can be up and running and uh, there's quite a lot of user interaction with using Lightburn so if you have a problem um, on, on it you can always ask the community and the community will sort of help you Benbox you're out on your own a lot of these settings in Benbox didn't seem to do anything for me you could change the setting and nothing would really happen okay that's just the quick tutorial on how to update it you obviously can get things like uh, Arduino flashes and things like that but since I had the Benbox laser thing already here and it was all I just used that there might be easier ways uh, but because I had the Benbox laser and gave the software I just used that it was the easiest way for me to flash it rather than trying to find some other software that would do it okay that's it for now uh, you can always like subscribe if you want if you have a question you can leave it I will try to get back to you 
Um, like I say, it was quite a while since I did this, so I'm trying to get it out of my brain and looking on the internet, it sort of reminded me of what I did do. Okay, so that's the end of the video.